Welcome back to the training series for Smart ERP. We shall continue towards our next chapter which is Provident Fund Configuration. In this chapter, we shall cover on how to configure your Provident Fund on Smart ERP. To navigate to the Provident Fund Configuration screen, go to Add-ons, Payroll, Setup, Provident Fund Configuration. To configure your Provident Fund, click Add. In this example, we shall configure the Provident Fund for Zanzibar jurisdiction. In the ID field, you shall type ZSSF. And under the Name field, you shall type Zanzibar Social Security Fund. You can fill in the Provident Fund number, if applicable. Regional or District Code Number, if applicable. Employer Registration Number, this is your company's Provident Fund Number. Under the Contributions section, you can choose whether the Provident Fund deductions is on basic salary or total earnings. After choosing, you shall insert the employer contribution. An employee contribution in terms of percent. The GL section is applicable for those users who have integrated the payroll module with the finance module. The training for this will be covered in the finance module training. Once you have filled in the correct information, you can click save to save the entry. As you can see, your Provident Fund is in created status. You can approve this by clicking the data button and click approve. Upon approval, the respective Provident Fund will appear under the Provident Fund drop-down in Manage Employees screen. For those in mainland Tanzania, you can see this Provident Fund details. This will follow the same process of adding just like we did for ZSSF. Instead, for the ID you shall type NSSF and for the Provident Fund name you shall type National Social Security Fund. So to summarize this chapter, we have seen how to configure NSSF and ZSSF Provident Fund on Smart ERP. Thank you for watching.